Okay, up to now, my best uh, one and a quarter eyepiece uh, 40 millimeter one was this Ostara, or it's now also as Orbino. Uh, but now, tonight, I found that this uh, Wixen NVL40 is better than that, simply because across all the field, from the corner to corner, you don't see any seagull effects, any coma, any, any uh, aberration stars remain pinpoint with this one no and now I'm going to use the Vixen 40 millimeter just to see how it is now I'm looking to the Teleview 40 millimeter plus hole and image is much brighter than this Vixen. Seagulling is almost uh, non-existent. With this one you see something. With this probably around 2-3%, 5% to the edge you see some seagulling, or when you are near the edge, the lower or upper part. So, uh, if I want to say which one is the best, and um, I compare this uh, Osara third, Vixen second and Teleview first. I'm not super. I'm not surprised why people buy Teleview. It's really good view. It's one of the better pieces or best pieces. And the surprising thing is that when I change the filter wheel from one filter to another, the image stays with the Teleview in focus. With other ones, you have to adjust it again. But with this one, it stays in focus. It's a strange. Uh, I probably have, from now on, I would just save money and get on the Teleview for my eyepiece. That's good quality. That's even not the best of them. It's a plus hole. Okay, I'm using the hydrogen alpha filter. It's a broadband hydrogen filter. Practically <coughs> with this filter you cannot see anything. <laughs> uh, it's not built for visual use. It's written and it is not for visual use for CCD and yeah, that's true. I may change it for something else. But probably in the daylight I could use it. I don't know. The, I've read that people say that they cannot see any of the prominences or those kind of granules on the surface of the sun uh, in this Broadband hydrogen alpha, you need a narrow band, but uh, anyway, I may give it a go later. Of course, I have to use the solar filter in front of the aperture opening, then with the filter, try to see what I can see. Um, I have probably five or six uh, um, 40mm eyepieces in the range of one and a quarter, which is this one. And uh, this Teleview is brighter, more contrasty. You can see more, the stars are better shaped, round. And I'm really pleased with this. I have a 15mm Teleview, and I just want to see how it compares with others that I have. Anyway, I will just give it a go. But this is the best eyepiece of in the range of 40 mm. I will just save now from now on, just don't buy any other eyepiece and get Teleview only. Teleview one and a quarter inch uh, 40 mm plus hole is sharp, is really sharp. It's probably the sharpest images I've seen in any eyepiece. And this Max Vision 40mm uh, 2 inch barrel eyepiece is even sharper than that. That is amazing. That's, that's better than this. Of course, I don't know in the 2 inch barrel how the Teleview will do Panoptic or Ethos or others that uh, I don't have them. So, but this is, this is good. Better than this. Can be because it has a larger aperture, light gathering power. I wish one day I will try one of these uh, two barrel televisions. 
Okay, when I'm using the Teleview 40mm plus hole, I can say that instead of trying to see, I start to observe. I can see a lot more. Few eyepieces can give me that view and that impression. Teleview is one of those ones. Mm -hmm.